Okay, so today we are going to look at a Cambridge AS level past paper from last year, 2021, May, June. So uh, this time last year, this is what the AS students were watching, I mean, writing. So uh, let's just jump in straight into it. Uh, first question. All right, so what we have here is a calculus question. Uh, the reason I know that is as soon as I see this symbol here, I know that's calculus, right? Because that means F dash means the slope. Okay. So when I do these memos, I'm not just going to do the answers. I'm obviously going to explain things as we go because the idea is that at the end, you don't want to just be able to do this specific question. You want to do any type of question that you might get um, involving calculus. So we'll just go through concepts within the question itself. Okay, so they have told us that we have an equation y equals f of x. Now we don't know f of x, but they've told us f dash of x, which is the slope. Now, normally what they do is they show us f of x, and then we have to work out the slope. Here they've done it the other way around. So what do we do when we need to work out the uh, opposite of the slope, in other words, go backwards from, so if we were to work out the slope, remember we do, we differentiate or find the derivative, okay, here we are given the derivative. So the derivative is given, therefore we need to work backwards, so we need to do the opposite of the derivative, we need to do the opposite of finding the slope. And the opposite of finding the slope is to integrate. Okay. So remember, when we want to find the slope, we differentiate. Is to integrate. Okay. So that of differentiate is integrate. So this is what we need to do in this question. Because they want us to find f of x. Okay. So what I want you to do now is to actually go ahead of me and start doing it yourself, if you already know. So start doing it and Hopefully, at the end of it, we'll get the same answer. So what we're going to do is, remember, we've got this integra integration sign. So we're going to integrate f dash of x. So that's what integrate means. Um, and so that's to say integrate. And then what is my f dash of x? It's this, this 6x squared minus 8 x squared. Okay, so now to integrate something so, uh, simple like this, we would we need to do the power rule, the power rule. So let's re refresh ourselves on the power rule. And that is, I'm not going to do fancy maths symbols, because I feel like that often just confuses things. You know, when you see um, x to the n and they tell you, oh, okay, it's x to the n, n plus 1 over n plus 1. So that's what you do, right? But that, that that's confusing. Let's rather say that what we do is we add 1 to the exponent and then we divide by what our new exponent is. Okay, so... We add one to the exponent first, and then we divide by that exponent. So uh, what I want to do is just tidy this up a little bit, because 8 over x squared, we see the exponent is at the, is at the bottom. Okay, So we need to take it to the top to use this power rule. And so we have x. And what happens when 2 goes to the top? It changes to minus 2. Okay, So whenever an exponent jumps up or down, 
it changes the sign. Okay, so that's what's happened there. Um, we should all know this from our GCSEs. Now, we have to integrate that. So I'm going to keep the integration sign. Now I'm going to integrate. And so I'm going to add one to the exponent. So x2 becomes x3. The 6, I can just leave as usual. And then I divide by that 3. Okay, I'm going to go through that again. It's so now 8. x, when I add 1 to minus 2, minus 2 plus 1 becomes minus 1 over that minus 1. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, I just want to just go over that quickly. So what did we do? We took this 2, we added 1. Then we divided by that 3. Okay, let's see it again here. Minus 2, add 1 becomes minus 1. And then we divide by that minus 1. So first we add to the exponent and then we divide by whatever that exponent is. Whatever number is in front, that just stays there. So the 6 and the, and the 8 just stay there as usual. And I'm almost done. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay, I found this on the web. We'll get here minus 2. Oh, one go one away, Siri. One. Uh, 2x cubed plus, because a minus and a minus is a plus. So this here makes a plus. So that's, just be careful of that. Uh, plus 8x to the minus 1. Now I can leave it like that, or I could make it 8 over x, because remember, x to the minus 1 is if we take this x to the bottom, it becomes x to the plus 1, right? And we don't write the 1 because it's a ghost 1. Because the default exponent on any number is 1, right? So like 9, we don't write 9 to the 1. We just write 9. Of course, 9 squared, we would write 9 squared. So when you see a number like 9 or x, you know that it has an exponent of 1, which we don't write the 1. Okay, so that's the... First question. The second question says, ah, well, is that only? Oh, that's a nice, easy first question. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and I'm going to uh, start a new video for question two. So uh, just make you sure you subscribe so you get the answer to the next questions.